So since my planning videos are n normally like a sit down video where I'm in front of the camera and I do overlays for you guys, I just kind of wanted this to be more realistic. Um, I don't have makeup on, I'm just sitting here doing things. I usually, if I don't plan everything at one time, it's kind of sporadic. And I feel like with what's going on in my life right now, it kind of has to be sporadic. One thing that I am doing before the end of the year is content planning. So we're moving. It's gonna be done kind of in batches because we're doing some renos as well. So I need to be able to balance the move, Kyle's schedule, my work schedule, and all of that. So for the end of the year, this is my YouTube notebook. I just have a list of video ideas and then I'm gonna actually go through and give each idea a page and then do an outline for the video. So I'm ready to rock and roll, ready to film. Now, if you're not a YouTuber, you're not a content creator, this could be maybe projects that you need to complete before the end of the year in your house or for school or for work, whatever it is. Um, just outline it so it's really clear and concise and you can spend more time executing than being overwhelmed by the fact that you know you have to. People get caught up in planning for the new year, but there's still those like lingering 2019 things that we need to worry about. Well, not worry about, but finish. I'm gonna be showing you guys in a separate video my planner system. I have a couple planners this year um, and my Google Calendar, which I promised a video on, but I'll be doing a deep dive of this and my brain dump system. What I've already done other than my content creation stuff for YouTube because I need to pre-film and edit this stuff so that way during the holidays uh, and like the move I can be posting. I'm doing the same thing for Wetterspoon because I won't have all of my props and everything unpacked or packed or whatever. So those are gonna have to get done. So everything basically through January has to be done. So what I did, and just take a piece of scrap paper. Doesn't need to be fancy. Don't overthink this. I have a new notebook. This is my like catch-all notebook. I made a few different lists. First, I just kind of brain dumped because I was like, I know I need to make lists about multiple things. So I'm gonna brain dump what lists need to be made. So you might need to be making lists about lists. It's totally fine. For the end of the year, we needed to make a moving brain dump. Now this is this was very random and looking at it now, it's kind of like, wow, we've done a lot of this because we've kind of broken it down into when we could do it and made other to-do lists based off of this master one. Then you want to take it monthly. So I have a November brain dump. Wasn't a whole lot of structure. I kind of just did whatever came to mind first. So it was videos that needed to be finished or finalized that have kind of been in the process for a while. Some things that needed to be done with wetter spoon, personal stuff, um, and that this was work stuff. And then I kind of did personal. So you can kind of organize your brain dumps. And then I knew that there were some things that I didn't visually need to see in November, but I don't want to forget them. So I made another list and just did started the December one because I knew there were things that had to be done in December, couldn't do it in November, therefore it goes here. Oh, this works guys. Super simple and really, really helpful because I know what it's like to have things in your mind and it's like confusing you and making you overwhelmed. Next. Part of the moving list was organizing the furniture because we've got houses that are both, well, me and Kyle both have furniture at our houses and our families are giving us furniture. So we're trying to figure out what we're taking, what we're selling, that whole thing. So we needed a list so that way we know when, what's coming over when. Um, so, you know, we made a list for this. Now, again, not everybody's moving, I get that but it's just an example of taking master lists and making smaller lists. So for example, let's say that you are like, all right, in November, I wanna get my Christmas shopping done. Well, make a finite list about what you're buying, who you're buying it for, where it's coming from, all of that. So you are just super prepared. One of the things on my November list was to declutter because I don't wanna be taking all this stuff with me. So I have a selling list. These are just things that I know off the top of my head I want to purge through in my closet and in my home. Also, before the end of the year, you want to review your goals. So I'm gonna go back into oops, my planner where I wrote out everything and review it. Did I accomplish it? What needs to be you know, attacked first? Looking at my vision board, you know, did we really like stay true to that? I'm not doing the reflection yet because it's not the end of the year. This is more just like, okay, what can I get done 
Now for the end of the year, I don't wanna even really think about the New Year's goals yet. I think there's kind of like three things you should be thinking about November through December because those are the things that realistically come up for everybody. You have work or school, you have your personal life, and then the holidays. Whether you're a big holiday person or not, I'm sure it affects you in some degree because you have places to go, people to see, gifts, um, whatever that is. And so if you want to see everything in one, so you kind of have a general sense of what's going on, scrap piece of paper. So this is gonna help you prioritize, I promise, okay? And you're gonna divide the paper into threes. This is not rocket science, people, okay? Now you're gonna adapt the Ivy Lee method with this. Three sections, right? Now for me, the move is gonna go into personal, but you're gonna do the Ivy Lee. So top six priorities for each thing. Realistically, I'm sure there's like more things that you might need to get done, right? Like little things, but these are like the six things that are really crucial. Do them in order if you can, and only list the sixth most important things and don't do other things until the six things are done. And this is going to help keep your next month and a half, month, whenever you're seeing this, super, super structured. So that way when you're thinking about holiday plans and everything, you're also still fitting in your priorities for your personal life, your work, and your school. Put this somewhere, print it, make it look pretty. This is just a rough cut, but it can be very helpful. If you wanna put it in a planner, you can do a tri-fold and stick it in there as like a flap situation but this is a really great way to brain dump. I just wanted to show you guys a couple different brain dumps that I'm kind of like toying with right now because my mind is on overdrive. White oak. I love, love, love white oak. I think the maple's gonna be out. It's just a little too dark. Color that we're going with is very similar to this, but it's not a like micro, micro thin board. It'll be more like this, which is like three eighths, I think. I love this, but I think it's gonna look it would look better in like a very, very modern farmhouse. Like we're talking super modern farmhouse, not a shabby chic country farmhouse because you, a lot of them have like high ceilings and we, we don't. So I feel like this won't look right. I don't know. That we're, I'm kind of in between um, going super light and, and then being more neutral. I think we're gonna go in the middle. This is a, in case anyone's curious, Rome White Oak from Hardwood Bargains. So the color we're going with is kind of like a mixture between these two, which I think will be nice because we can make it look more cozy. This can look a little too sterile for me, so, or, or like coastal, we're not really either. In between these two, I like them because they don't have a lot of red. It pulls more neutral tones, um, a little bit of gray, but still warm enough where it's cozy, where we want it to look cozy in the fall and winter but then we can kind of play up that it is a lighter wood in the spring and summer. So, love that, I think that's what we're doing. This is how I get ready. I go through like six pairs of shoes. Wanted to show you guys the bag that I'm bringing. This is my Teddy Blake bucket bag. It is huge <laughs> and I'm putting all my cameras and equipment in there and it is beautiful. You guys know how much I adore Teddy Blake. Let's see, could not find it. That was very mad. That was very mad. We've got Photog, Joshua. Look how festive. Oh my goodness. She's saying I'm festive because, oh, like again. green. It's not a good lid, you I'll match, tell you that. You match my tartan. Plaid. It's my Ew, Scottish. I do. Gross. <laughs> All right, let's go to Foots. So far, so good. Um, We've only had like 20 people walk in front of us, but <laughs> It doesn't help that the package is so far up on the shelf. At least we look kind of coordinated. Got my satchel. Look very official. Mail purse. So, we have it on the vlog camera. Yeah. Try to get more of the plaid in there. So if you have to tilt it down a little bit. Yeah. up our shoot. We use this lovely bridge. We should have put the cones out so it was like no. No. Ugh, 
We need to get a thumbnail. Oh, we need a thumbnail picture. It's stupid. No. No. So we just finished shooting. Now we're gonna go home and edit for the rest of the day. Yes. Yeah, just got home. It's been a very, very long afternoon. Shoot went pretty well. Um, and then I had to stop at my parents' house and pick up a bunch of things for Christmas, like decorations. And I was also taking pictures for Poshmark because I still have a lot of clothes over there. But I wanna show you guys this bag was such a trooper today because it lugged around all of our stuff for the photo shoot. We were putting like different jackets in there and different cameras and lenses. And I think it's like my new bag because it also was in some of the pictures. I want to show it to you guys. And I, I used my Teddy Blake Eliza. This is the big one, the 12, during the summertime. And it transitioned so beautifully for fall. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. It has the rose interior and it carries so, so much, but you can also kind of tighten this if you want to make it, you know, uh, smaller, more compact. And then I kept all of my touch-up makeup in the pouch that comes with it. And I just love the gold hardware and the little details. It looked so good with this outfit, which I will show you as soon as I clean up everything in my mirror. So I was not kidding when I say these photo shoots get messy. My house is a wreck. I'm going to be cleaning it, so probably gonna do a disaster clean with me, but I'm just wearing black moto boots, black American Eagle high-waisted skinnies, a black Tahari t-shirt, and a Boohoo denim jacket. Cute though, right? These earrings that I showed you guys from my Amazon haul. They were like the best, I love them. I also have not eaten since this morning. I only had a protein shake and I'm, I'm feeling it. Like, and this just, I am um, breathe Haley. And I have to, I have a dinner tonight, which I'm excited for, but like I'm also a little stressed cause it's like, I just wanna clean my house. But tomorrow is another day. So I, thank God, got lunch. At Whole Foods, well, it's gonna be like an early dinner. I'm not going to dinner until like eight anyway, so it's fine. And then I just got like a bunch of stuff for the cheese board for Wetterspoon, and I'm gonna use it for our cheese board um, for the beach Thanksgiving that we're doing. So I got like some parm crisps, beet chips for the low carb option. It's not really that low carb, it's 32 gar carbs in this tiny bag, but it'll look pretty. I'm really excited to try these. Fig and blue cheese bites. They're like fig stuffed blue cheese. Caramelized pecans and the Marcona almonds. I think that the color contrast is gonna be pretty. Olives in the entire world. These are the Dolce K olives from the Whole Foods salad bar. They're like sweet. Oh my gosh. We tried so many different cheeses and we wound up with the Cranberry Wensleydale, which is like a, it's a medium um, texture cheese, but I thought it would look really festive. Uh, this one, the Pavino, wow, really good, a little more, it's a hard cheese, has texture similar to like parm, kinda, but like a real good taste. Got Kyle a, um, a creamy Gouda, we've got prosciutto, egg, Sobrasada, some dark chocolate. This is the brown butter, sea salt, and the Leslie Stowe Rain Coast crisps. These are the cranberry and hazelnut. The OG favorite fig spread. And then I love the Mrs. Meyers Christmas stuff. So this is the Iowa Pine Hand Soap. Hey, 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 thank you. Speech, speech. Just <laughs> like, shut <laughs> Sunday guys so last night was really fun we went out to dinner for my cousin's birthday and I got home super late and I worked out this morning got my cardio done and now I'm meal prepping and simultaneously going through all of my clothing and trying on sweaters for this year I'm gonna be posting some things on Poshmark I just want to get a jump start on this before we like really start packing to move because I don't want to be bringing so many clothes um, 
Also my hair, not to like interrupt, but it's drying very nice today. <laughs> so yeah, that is what we're doing. And then we're gonna start decorating for Christmas. All right, carrying this into the next week, we got our floor samples. Let's check this out. This is from Build Direct, they're out of Canada. This is way lighter than I thought. Muddy yellow tone. It almost looks like fake wood the way that it's painted. I don't really like it. This one, however, it's an engineered hardwood, so it's very thin, but I do like it. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything I got at the container store a few years ago and they wrap around Christmas trees and I just doubled them up and it makes storing it so much easier. And I used to get so annoyed when I was little with my mom because she would spend like hours fluffing our tree and doing trimming before we could put ornaments on it and now I do the same thing so I just find that really funny. Also these branches are on hinges which is really nice. My tripod is like so not working. Um, they're on hinges so they kind of you don't have to actually bend the, the hinge that's connected to like the trunk, I guess, of the tree, which is really nice. They kind of like collapse open. The only ones that don't have hinges are the tops, which... been filming all day and now I am taking pictures and I was gonna do some promo stuff for ghosts and the doorbell rang and look what I got ghosts perfect I'm gonna put all of my ghost products under the tree think like that's a great idea right okay we're gonna do that <sighs> my tripod is just not working today I need a knife Hold on. running out of daylight gotta get this done also, these are my fave joggers from Alphalete ever. They're so soft. Although I did, I think I have them almost every collection. That oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited right now. This is like Christmas. Gosh. Guys. Holy moly. You know what? I need to film Oof, you guys, you guys almost took a tumble. All right, guys, got a really nice package from Ghost. So we have, and I'm filming this on two cameras right now. So we've got the Snickerdoodle and the white chocolate peppermint whey. These are so good. And the new V3 black, all black or triple black. It's V2 triple black shaker. I see some swag in here. Guys, what did you do? Holy, it's Christmas. I'm so excited. This is the current situation. I'm just like running back and forth, taking pictures. This is how it's done. Oh, that's horrible. What a busy day. I wanted to get the filming done and some holiday content wrapped up because the rest of the week is going to be dedicated to a very, look at this hair, a very important shoot. It's going to be photos, video, the whole deal for Wetter Spoon and Whole Foods. So I needed to get this stuff out of the way. I kind of 
pop more wood samples in. That's really nice. There's like, honestly, the one that we're going with is very similar to this. We did good. I mean, yes, this is beautiful, but like nine inch, nine and a half inch planks in a nine foot ceiling, I don't think it's gonna look very good. I think you need like really high cathedral style ceilings to pull off this, but it's really pretty. This is very similar to what we're going with, maybe a little darker. It's beautiful. I just think, upside down. I just think, I mean, not that it matters, but um, it's also annoying I put the sticker on the front. So this one's very chocolate, like a little browner. The camera's really not doing it justice. This is the one that I like the most. This one's a little weird. It's got a weird grain to it. And then the ones that we're going with, or we don't, excuse me, we don't have um, high ceilings, cathedral style ceilings. I think going with the lighter will make it seem bigger. Yeah. Ooh, this is it for sure. Yep. If anyone's curious, Veneer or Vanier, soulless European oak in olive brown. It's five inches and it's engineered, so it's thinner. All right, we are staging the table. I don't have enough candlesticks to really do the whole elongated thing. Like this really should look more spread out and sparse, but well, we're gonna keep playing with it. And then this is the cheese board that I bought the other day. I thought it was beautiful with this mango wood and its variegated tones. And then it also has feet with rubber stoppers, which I appreciate and the handles are super nice. So I think this is what we are going to use. I had a darker wood one, but I think this one is gonna look really pretty. And then I picked these up. How adorable are these? Oh my God. I wanna find a cheese set that's kind of like twig inspired. I just love it, it reminds me of anthropology. And then this is a little cheeky, but I thought it would be cute to do in like the nut serving dish. Do not mind my ratchet nail. They had a bunch of wood like this. I didn't wanna to get too much cause I, I don't want it to be corny, you know? Um, this is from a local store in Hocus in Delaware called The Kitchen Sink. It is my favorite place to go for the holidays. Just in general, it's like a very upscale home store and, but they have like things that are very affordable too. Like these were like, they're all like under 15. Yeah, 13, 50. This was like a little under 30. This is only a few dollars, 750. And then I bought this adorable copper sponge holder for the kitchen and it inspired me to use my vintage copper molds as dishes for the rest of this board. Guys, this is so beautiful, I might cry. <laughs> Look at that. Good morning guys, hold on, the light's not very good over here. Well, it's not really good here either. Anyway, it is Saturday. I'm heading to a photo shoot for um, a mother and son duo. I'm really excited. Um, and then we are packing up for the beach. Busy day, I'm kind of late, so. Got to the shoot location. I have done like five photo shoots here this season because it's just so versatile and beautiful. There's nature, there's ruin, not ruins, but like old buildings. This is an old, right, we're in Yorkland, PA. I mean, oh my gosh, Yorkland, Delaware. Um, and this was an old factory. And so there's a lot of brick and wood and stone and like really cool areas. They also put a brewery here 
and it just looks like so cool. So I'm excited and there's a bridge across the street that we're gonna take them to that is gonna be really beautiful. So I'm gonna go kind of figure out where I wanna take the pictures. Um, and Nevin, I don't know how old he, I think he's like eight now, seven or eight. So um, it won't be as like cutesy as like mommy and me photos, I don't think. So we're gonna have to find the right balance for poses and heights because usually when I do these types of photo shoots with like little kids you can be a little more like cheesy you know but we'll figure it out so there's like the stone uh, building over there and these have really nice um, barn doors on the other side I've taken Josh's senior pictures here um, doesn't look like much but in photos it looks really cool and I'll insert pictures from today's shoot Maybe the center will top it. Well, we're black. We don't have NFL here. I mean, we don't have college. We only have NFL. Okay. Okay, okay. Kyle will come show you which one. Okay. How about this one? That one. That one's yours. This one's for us. Oh, that one has a lot of hot rods in it. Oh, I bet that's Oh, uh, you love the hot rods, Ford? Big ones. Oh my gosh, let me see. Look. Whoa, you're talking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Reflexes. Okay, so I think that's the cabinet. Yeah, it's that sharp shut. That one is like a Pabino. I need all these cars. Like you need all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow